What's up, everybody? Tweech here, and uh, we got a little bit of work to do before we continue on, but we will continue our faith build through our playthrough, and uh, what I'm talking about is um, I, I did get a little bit of work done, got some farming done, I got the Dragon Long Sword up to plus five, uh, and Got the blessed uh, hammer to plus one. I still need a lot of uh, faint stone for that. And my uh, compound short bow to plus nine. So uh, we're making some progress. I also did a little bit of soul farming and I got my intelligence up to 14, 14 which gave me an extra spot for my magic. And I needed that. So I can cast Warding, which gives me a boost to uh, physical defense by 70%. Uh, and that, uh, my friends, is what we're going to be using to take on... Um, what's his name? The uh, the Phantom. I forgot his name already. Uh, the Phantom in the Sanctuary of the Lost. Okay, so we, we got to beat him so we can uh, get his shield. Uh, technically, we don't really have to beat him. I think the items are right by him, but he stands like literally right on top of them. So best way to, to deal with him is to basically beat him. But before we do that, we're heading over here to World 1. Since we have this in pure white state, uh, we're going to go over and try to get the brushwood set. Uh, this is the, um, the, I believe, the strongest armor in the game might be wrong on that but uh, also I, I i won't be able to use it just because of my endurance it it just it's such a heavy set that uh, very unusable for my playthrough here but we're gonna get it because we are actually after the colorless soul which we're gonna use to upgrade the moonlight sword and that is found at the bottom of the pit oh We'll see if we can get this. It is, uh, there is a phantom other than these fools that kind of guards the area. She's a little bit harder, well, much harder than these guys. So we'll see how we do with her. And then the drop, uh, literally dropping down to the, um, the beam where the uh, colorless soul is, is Quite cha challenging in, in itself, so. And I looked for tips online on best ways to do this drop, and the consensus has been to uh, remove your armor, shield, and weapons. I don't know if... I don't know what that really does. I think it's more... For me, it's been a visual thing. So, like with this big shield... Sometimes it's just hard to see, and that's kind of how I took it. I don't know if it really affects how you fall, but... Now, if you need early... Crescent Moon Grass, uh, this is a really good place to farm them. Obviously, you get one per drop, uh, and I think there was, what, three over there? Two more here. Uh, maybe six, seven, eight. You get, like, eight or nine per, per run. So, uh, a good farming spot for some Crescent Moon Grass. But now... We are going to go with this shield, and I am going to, hmm, you know what, maybe I'll try, yeah, I'll try using the, the spell, get my health up, or not my health, but my defense much higher, because when I come in here and she attacks me, she is going to, she can do some, quite some damage. Actually, she ain't doing anything. Uh, I mean, obviously, 
if I had, if I didn't have warding on, she would be ripping through me pretty easy. Oh, I cannot time that to save my life. And now that warding is almost off. Gotta really watch out. She is strong and she has this portion where she switches. Oh, come on. She switches to a two-hand attack and that tends to mess me up a little bit. All right. So not too, too bad. Uh, she does drop the binded set. Uh, that's uh, female character only. So we'll put that away. I don't need that headpiece. And there was a ring. Was that the master's ring? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever used that one. Okay, so. Just for reference, uh, in world, in the first part of this world, when we're uh, starting out, um, I don't know if I did it for part one, but this is the hole that you would, you could potentially drop down. Uh, in the very first part, there is a guy up here with a, uh, you can't really see it, a guy up here with his crossbow, but uh, if you were to drop from this hole, it's, you just die. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, but this is the only way to get to this area. So first, we are going to climb down. And uh, we'll get the brushwood set. And then come back up for that glowy right behind me at that point. The little glowy. Yeah, I, I can't uh, even, yeah, that said, I'm probably not going to be able to use on this playthrough, but like I said in the, uh, for the first episode, I, um, I tend to, even if I can't use any of the items, I tend to just get them anyway. I like, I just really enjoy playing the game to its fullest, even if it has nothing to do with me. Uh, so we're going to take this off. I'm going to... I'll leave my pants on. Just because. We're going to go nice and slow. And... Drop down here. And please don't give me a heart attack, which this always does. And got the colorless soul. Uh, now, since... I don't want to, I mean, it's only 7,000 souls, but since I have evacuate, uh, there is no other way, uh, once you get to that point, there's no other way to get out of there besides either dying, uh, using evacuate, or using one of the uh, stones to warp you back to the nexus. Um, so... I recommend having something available, if you, unless you don't have any souls, obviously. If you only have a, a few souls, then maybe it's not even worth your time. Okay, so that being said, uh, we're going to head on over to 2, 1, and uh, level up our Moonlight Sword. Upgrade Moonlight 2 
Blessed hammer, we don't have enough for. Compound, again, we do not have enough for. Beater. Uh, that's colorless. I don't even want to level that. Okay. So we should be good. Now, we are in a little bit better spot to have a chance uh, back at fighting our boy here. So we're going to give this a shot. He uh, ripped me a new one, basically. Uh, and all I want, really, is his shield. Um, I think it's a great alternative to uh, the heater shield that I'm using. In fact, it's, it's probably one of the best in the game, uh, obviously, depending on what you want to do with it. Uh, it has 100, 100 uh, physical uh, re damage reduction, 100 magical damage uh, reduction. It uh, can be used for parries, like it. It's kind of like your all-around. You're all-around pretty good sword. Or sword, shield. <laughs> and, um, yep, there's our boy. I'll try the Moonlight Sword first, since we upgraded that a little bit. Cling Ring, Thief Ring. I don't know if that's going to really matter. But uh, we'll give that, give this a chance. And so we'll see how long this lasts. I don't know. See, he didn't one-shot us, uh, which is nice, but not a good start on my part. Just got to keep an eye on that. I uh, wonder if I... Oh, I almost had it, but I ran away. I only gave him 26 damage. Not gonna happen. Oh. Ooh, and that that ran out. I don't know if this is even gonna be worth worth it. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'll give it. Keep on trying. 137. All right, I'm gonna try the dragon sword. Um, since that, well, that did 137, 312, much better, okay, yeah, we're gonna stick with good old draggy, uh, the other thing we need is our, where is it, spice, spice is nice, and perfect timing, because that ran out, and just as long as he's not healing up. So that was a little off, but I think we're good. Just want to be topped off. The moment he starts his healing motion is when you want to get right on him. Oof, that was definitely a close call. Use up these uh, crescent. There we go. Couple more. Just gotta watch him do. Oh, how are you gonna hit me like that? How are you gonna do me like that, man? I'm a little surprised that the Moonlight Sword doesn't do more damage to this guy, but.
because it does cut through. Oof. Just got me. So we will. Again, he's almost, almost to the point where he's gonna die. So I'm going to just take it. There we go. Take it slow and take him down. So, pick up the item. Okay, the Finland Crest. Uh, and what is this item here? The brand, the big bell thing is massive. <laughs> uh, we don't need that. And then we need 40, 40. Because I want to carry that shield. Mm. I need 40 spots. That's not much here. Because once I get enough space, uh, that should be enough. Yeah, the dark silver thing is way too too much for me. I mean, I could wear that now. That's not bad. That looks cool. Uh, but definitely, I won't be able to use the shield. You aren't strong enough. Why not? 16 strength. That's why. Uh, but also 70 fire damage. Not bad. So, uh, 16 strength. Just two more strength. I'll, yep, got to upgrade that. And uh, we are at... Yep, I'll pro if I want to use that set, I'll definitely need to use the strength ring. But uh, a very good set. Now, just a tip. I'm not going to do it just because I uh, there isn't really a need for me to... to to uh, continue on uh, without warping out if I run back through this world uh, into the swamp and uh, find his sister she asks for that crest the Vinland crest and then she gives you um, some items and stuff I think it's the dull uh, dull armor set if that's even the name of it but it's a uh, a female based set uh, obviously for my character can't use it uh, but it is a very good very good armor set faint stone now there is a lot of faint stone and items in this area but the problem ends up being if you make it down into that slop and I don't have the sodden ring. You're in for a world of hurt. There, it's instant plague, uh, or just about instant. I mean, it's you're gonna get plagued. And then there's these uh, little plague babies, these things that jump out and they kind of stun lock you as they hit you. And there isn't much you could do, unfortunately. Uh, so we're gonna come back and tackle this. A little bit later because uh, after the Sodden Ring, well, yeah, after the Sodden Ring, and um, I need to get s some more uh, soul remains because they help out a lot. And I found this out uh, the uh, one of my last playthroughs. I was kind of shocked to see uh, if you throw a soul remain somewhere, all the plague babies goes over there, and then you can kind of have your free. Uh, free roam of the area for a little bit anyway uh, so we're gonna that's not the tool that's not the tool you fool uh, what yep that's right uh, I'll go back to the Nexus okay we are going to continue on uh, what time are we at uh, 19 minutes uh, might have some time to do the first part, first part of uh, World Three Two. I can forge weapons for you. Uh, purchase some items. I got thirty-one thousand souls. Nice. Um, I will need some arrows, but I'm going to purchase those from 
my my other guy. What's the hurry? Where are you off to? Hey, what's up, brother? Okay, so we're going to do... And... That should be enough for... Darn it. One upgrade. And my faith is at 36. I really wanted to get that to 50, but... Where's my lady? Oh. Hello, lady. So 15, not that far away. I'll get that to 16. Get, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to spread out the stats a little bit here too much. Uh, typically, stat spread should look at the uh, 120 mark. Obviously, we have quite a ways to go. Uh, I should have 50 vitality, 50 faith, probably 30 or 40 into endurance, and then the rest spread out. But um, yeah, so I got I got quite a bit to go. But at this point, I should have my faith at least up to 40 and my vitality up to 30, which uh, my endurance is still pretty, pretty low. But that's because I'm messing around with some other stuff. Um, okay, so let's go. I don't need to go there. We're going to go over to... Oh, I need my arrows. Yes, arrows, arrows, arrows. Rituals path. So I might as do uh, at least one farm uh, of the Reaper here, and then get some arrows and then head on over. Uh, that could... Yeah, one... One... Uh, one farming run should be just enough to get another level into our strength. What are we at? 19. Ooh, 19. Four I need, so. Not quite. Uh, let's see. I'll get some arrows while I'm already here. There's some soul remains, but I should have plenty of those. Uh, I can only get 41? What's my... My weight capacity? Oh, item capacity is up pretty high. Uh, I don't think I need those. I'll put that away, even though it doesn't... Fire bombs. Yeah, that... I mean, a shield is great, but... Hmm. Oh, I have the whole dark set. That's right. Uh, the fluted. Dark. Dark set to go there you know I quite frankly I might just switch back to um, oh, hello. the faith set here just because it looks more like the faith build that I'm looking for all right so that gives me 125 arrows that should be plenty I'll do one more run get that strength up and uh, Should be good to move to the next area. I mean, we're we're approaching 25 minutes, so I might just uh, save that for the next next zone. Oh, I'm sorry, next video, and we'll just tackle uh, World Two Two or a uh, Three Two. So, 
as you can see, this is, uh, if you didn't notice already, this is one of the best uh, mid, um, mid game farming spots for souls. Uh, also, if you're working on crescent weapons, farming the reaper there, he drops the, uh, the shards that you need and occasionally will drop pure, um, and chunks. Actually, I think just chunks. And then when you get the world to pure black state, he will, uh, have the opportunity to drop the pure. Uh, another good farming spot is coming up here if you're looking for more of the, is it the, um, what is that, the dexterity build? Might even be strength. He, we have the blade stone. Now that drops off of this guy coming up here. And uh, he's already looking for us. But you could farm this guy. And he does. He gives you a little bit of a little bit of souls. Like I said, there's the soul remains is his common drop. But uh, you could put if you have this in pure black uh, world tendency, he uh, drops more of the blade stone um, and also the the pure blade stone and chunks. So. Uh, it's a good, good farming spot. It's really quick and easy to reload the area. Another idea is to run down to where we were killing the Reaper. You go out the opposite side there uh, that we've been running back up the steps. You go to the other side. There's a kind of a secret wall. And there's another one of those, um, those skeletons. But uh, I find that to be a little bit more challenging since you're fighting on a cliff then you have the the mana rays and it's a little bit further run but either or you have a good opportunity okay so we are going to uh, just warp on over to upper latria we're going to save this one this uh this zone for another video but if you uh if you like the video um you know, like to, uh, you learned a little something maybe of uh, <laughs> uh, what to do before and getting set up and getting ready for the next area, uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, for us here. So, uh, like I said, in the next video, we're going to tackle this area and um, yeah, see how it goes. It should, should go pretty smooth. Um, this sword uh, is quite strong now at this point and should be able to tear through a lot of these, uh, these enemies. So, um, Yep, we'll see you on uh, the next one.